hotel, my brothers and my sisters, my family, my daughters, my sons, my grandsons, my granddaughters. I love all of y'all, my friends. I hope this could provide some entertainment for you all. You got a little laugh out of it in, the, in between time. But you know what motivated me with this here? I have been exercising on my treadmill and I went on a, I've been fasting three days a week, trying to get this body right out my old man. And, I'm going to have to use this body a little bit longer. I want it to serve me a little bit better. So I was trying to give it the things it needs so it can give me the things I need to do what I need to do. So I was fasting. Just came off a 10-day fast. And uh, believe it or not, I was able to wear some clothes I hadn't worn in years. I mean, years. <laughs> some of them things I had never wore because I bought them so I could get motivated. I called myself and motivated myself to lose the weight so I'd be able to get in them. That didn't happen, so <laughs> they ended up hanging in the closet and just hanging in the closet. So I told my queen, I said, baby, you know, once I come off this fast, if I reach my goal, I'm gonna give you a fashion show. And that's what started it all. When I reached my goal, I was so elated. And then when I got on, tried those clothes on, I was, oh, I was so happy. And I had bought my grandson, little man, Zion, Zion, I'm talking to you, brother. Bought, bought him about eight suits, he left them all here. You shouldn't have done that, Zion, because I tried your suits on, and guess what, little man? I can wear mine. <laughs> so I said, you know what, Zion? I mean, I, no, you get your suits, son. I just wanted you to know that your grandpa, your, your baba, can get in your clothes now, so buy some good stuff, because I don't wear that, you know. But actually, this is who I am. This African guard, African people, my ancestors, motherland, Maat, Kemet, African spirituality, the love of my people, and the honor that they gave to the world, and all the gifts that they gave to the world, how they taught the world, and how they were captured, forced into bondage, had mercy, drove across the hot plains of West Africa to board those waiting ships, where they laid in the bowels of those ships, chained one to another, laying in their own ways, being eaten by rats. Lord have mercy. Being raped, beaten, castrated, mutilated. Babies, elders, men and women, men sodomized, tortured and tormented. Some of their bones lie at the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean to this very day. They were brought over here in chains forced to work for the evil people all their lives, starving, sick, hungry on those plantations, working regardless of how they feel. The mothers being torn from their children, Lord have mercy. Fathers being torn from their sons and daughters and mothers being torn from their husbands. Families broken apart. Our religion was taken from us, our spirituality was, our language was taken from us. Our culture and our history was taken from us. Everything that we needed to survive was taken from us. We were forced to take another person's, another man's language, religion, culture, morals, or lack thereof. And we were punished for crimes we never committed. Worked on those plantations, tobacco, sugar, Made them rich and wealthy while we suffered and starved and were raped, murdered and continued mutilated, abused, tortured and tormented. Lord have mercy. Suffered their entire lives, our ancestors did, never knowing that one day was going to be better than the next day. Never had hope. And were continually abused for 400 years. Our torture still continues to this very day by the same people who descended from those people, who carry out their wishes and will, and keep us in the same condition. Oh yes, my love is for my people. This African garment, this is who I am. This is all I know. Africa is me, and I'm Africa. So when y'all come to me and bring me this other stuff, that's not me, I'm polite. I listen to your religious views. I listen to your political arguments. 
but I know who I am. I never stop being African, and I'll never stop being African. And those young unborn yet to come and make their contribution to our struggle for liberation so we can return to our way of life, a higher level of spirituality and humanity. And they'll bring good back into the world and rescue us and restore us to who we once were so that we can once again be that honorable people and restore our respect and dignity for one another and love for one another. There's a generation yet to be born and I pour libations to them every day. Over on that uh, uh, altar over there, that's my shrine. Where I, pour, I pour libations to my ancestors that they'll bring us this generation, they'll bring us this other woman will pick up the manna and carry us to the finish line, to restore us as a people, to make us whole again, make us love one another, Let's make the men love and respect our women, honor our women, allow our women to be the centerpiece of our race, to guide us where we need to be, as a free and liberated people, what we can do for ourselves. We can educate ourselves, we can return to our way of life, which is the highest level of humanity ever brought to this earth. So that right there is the fashion show. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Thank you for hearing me out. I don't know if my queen want to say anything. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. <laughs> this was wonderful. I appreciate it. You know how much I love you. Thank you. I love you too, sweetheart. Y'all have a good night. <laughs> <laughs>